Hey everyone, welcome back. Back to part four of House Builder, where we're building the house in Canada, right from scratch. And last time, we finished off by putting up the outer walls of timber, ready to uh, sort of put the outside of the house in. And we also went and we started putting in the floorboards. Um, but that became a bit glitchy for me at the end, and I couldn't use the nail gun. I had to use the uh, screws and the hammer, so... Let's have another go today, we'll kind of finish, well, well, I should say, we'll start where we finished. And that is to complete the rest of the floor. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to put these boards down and do it the long way, which is to put a few of these screws in manually by hand. So once again, there's no real positioning of these screws or nails. You kind of just move around and see it till, till you see them turn green, and, and you need three or four depending on the size of the board. Uh, you can see they're fairly easy to knock in, but if you use the nail gun and it's working, these boards go down in like a split second. But um, just to avoid any more problems and restarts, we'll do it this way just for the base. So let's keep hammering these in. We're using the OSB boards. We need 20, well, we actually need 19 now to complete this. We've got 47 there saved up. So we've got plenty of these. This shouldn't take us long. The whole job itself, 50% complete. So we're halfway through. Uh, if I can just find the right place for these uh, screws or nails. The good thing is, it's actually looking like a house now. Right, we may not be able to nail that in, we're going to have to go through. So I'll do this as quick as possible. Yeah, so this, this was glitching on me. I actually cut it out of the video because I spent some time trying to uh, to fix it, uh, but the nail gun just wasn't happening. I had another um, error as well, which was similar, which is related to the screws or nails not registering that they've, uh, you know, they've actually pinned down a certain board or piece of wood. Um, those are the only issues I've got so far, but as I mentioned in the last video, if you save it and exit, then come back in, it launches the game again and it tells you that whatever board it was you got stuck on is actually nailed in correctly. So on occasion, it's just having trouble registering that you've finally got the nails in, but um, at least it's fixed and you don't have to go back to the beginning of the build because that would be fairly game breaking wouldn't it because you know how long we've spent on this so far so let's continue how many have we got left we've got 10 left to do these boards are fairly big pieces so it won't take long so just a few more in this board It's weird how you don't have to put the nails in a specific place. I, when I first did this, I was trying to line all the nails up, then I quickly realised it's just random. Um, so that's four nails, isn't it, we've put in, in this one. Five. I think it depends on the size of the board. Some boards are bigger than others. This is quite a big one. That's two, three, four for that one. Like I said, if you use the uh, nail gun and it's working, you'll have these boards down in a split second. Maybe if we've got to put boards on the side of the house, maybe we'll try that again with the nail gun. Hopefully we won't get any issues. I want to show you both ways. You can do the whole building this way if you want to, if you want to do it manually. Um, it is quite rewarding doing it this way. It's obviously just time consuming though. Um, but there is a lot of satisfaction of doing it this way. So this should be our last board. So we got an additional 3% for that. 
So the next floor will be on the first floor. You also need to buy OSB boards again. We've got 47 boards. We're going to need 30 to do the first floor, so we're, we're good. We don't need to order any. But we will need the scaffold. So we've got the complete area here to do. Let's just line this up properly. Once again, let me use the nails. And we'll stand on this one once it's done. The other thing is as well, as I'm trying to do here, Oh, there, there you see, there you see the speed of the nail gun, once the nail gun's working. There you go. So it's now working. I was going to do it manually, but you can see the advantage of this once it is actually working. So let's see if we can carry on with this. This should get us through this stage very quickly. I've no idea why it glitches though. And it's only with the nail gun. I've not come across any any other problems with this at all. So it's a bit strange. But there you go. How fast is this? Not very realistic. Right, 56%. Looks like we're putting in the roof timbers now. So we need 76 construction planks. I don't know actually if we've got any down here. Let's go and have a look. I think these are construction planks, aren't they? So we've only got 12 of those. Those are different. Yeah, 76. 76 building planks. Is this... Oh, that's clipping now because... Uh, I can't get up there because the scaffolding is buried in the side. So let's just pull this out. Let's try one of these. Oh, try another material. Is that the wrong material? Right, so maybe these aren't construction planks then, so... Let's drop these. They look like construction planks, so... Uh, it's not these. These are for the roof, I think. So, let's have a look. Uh, oh, they were planks for the framing walls, weren't they? That we just had. There are the construction planks. Uh, we need 76 of these. So, let me just... Just looking what else there is. There's also... You must be able to customise the, uh, the house after you've built it as well. And add in lots of furniture, etc. Um, but for now, we've ordered 80 of those planks which gives us a couple spur let's go and pick those up hopefully we can carry all of these at one go got four of them there actually Okay, excellent. Wait, did I not order? Did I not order eighty of those? I'm sure I pressed that twice. I could have sworn I ordered eighty of those. Oh, not to worry. We can order some more. Now this, if there's not much nailing, this is uh, quite straightforward. Just lining up that cursor again, just to make sure we get these in. That's the tricky bit. Now they might need nails, the ones against the side of the floor. Let's, uh, let's check it out. No, actually they don't. I thought the long one there, along the, along the edge, would need uh, nailing in, but apparently not. Oh, 
Okay, we've still got 35 to go. We've only got three boards, so we're going to have to order some more. And the last one. Right, 32 we need. So, let's just buy... Oh, I see. No, sorry, I was getting mixed up. So, you can buy 20 there for 40 currency. I was looking at it the wrong way around. I thought we were ordering 40. And, in fact, actually, I've only just ordered 20 there. We need 32. So, I've messed up again there. Not to worry. It's like instant delivery, which is pretty good. You know, you don't have to wait in game time a couple of hours or anything daft for the, the truck to turn up. So, you know, as I said in the last couple of episodes, ordering's not really an issue. I think, though, in earlier builds, I think the Japanese tea house that I did, all the deliveries come in by barge because you're on a you're on a kind of coastline. And if you don't fill the barge, if it makes a trip with, you know, for example, 20 blanks on, like we just ordered now, if the barge isn't full, you got a penalty for only half filling the boat. Um, and again, that was something new in that stage, which um, I haven't seen any of the other stages, including this one. So, whoops, there we go, that's not good. Going to cause an accident if we don't pick these up quick. Right, so we've got 19 now, which is better. 12 to go for the actual build. There is one hiding there. Let's get that in, if we can reach it. That's it. Now it's really looking like a house. Brilliant. Up to sixty percent already, so we've gone up ten percent so far in this in this video. So I have a feeling that this last sort of forty percent might go a little bit quicker than the first sixty percent did. Because I don't think we've got a great deal left to do, just looking at the house. Depends what level of detail we're going to, I think. So, uh, chimney blocks is the next thing. So now we've got the first floor. Looks like we're extending the chimney up to the roof. I didn't see a fireplace, though. Got a chimney, but no fireplace. Unless this is for some kind of heating you know down in the cellar or something um right so it's asking us to use the nail gun again for this next bit let's see how we get on what do we need for this we need some of those osb boards again so we've got some left over 18 we've got we need 70 so shall we buy some more we can buy another 50 there so let's get those This driver's going to be going mad with those. He's backwards and forwards all the time, isn't he? Right. Now, let's try and use the nail gun. There we go. That's what we want. When it works, it's good. Right, let's get the rest of these filled in. Shrimp. 
tricky to get down to those lower ones because you can't crouch. So you just got to get as near as possible just so it registers. Twenty-six to go. We've actually got. Uh, why have we only got eighteen boards? We ordered more than enough to complete this job. There's something strange there, and I've noticed this. We definitely had enough boards to complete the job. Yet we're going to run out. We're going to be two boards short for some reason. See what I mean? We've now run out two boards short. That's frustrating. I don't think I've got any hanging around, so we're just going to get two delivered. Then we'll get four delivered. We may need them later on. The guy's coming in his truck anyway. Right, let's get this section done. It's looking good now, isn't it? I reach that from here? Probably not. Let's go up the scaffold. That's better. That was a problem. I needed to uh, select the nail gun rather than the board. So, anyway, we're up to 66%. So, what's next? Purchase of roofing years. Years? And put them on the roof. We've got plenty of these. Now, I bought some of these by mistake at the beginning, but that's fine because they're coming in handy right now. So let's get up on the top. I've not heard that term before. Roofing years. Uh, how are we going to do so? We need to move the scaffold to the side, don't we? I think. Uh, that should do us. So there's a couple of nails or screws for each one, looks like. Three, in fact. Again, you can use the nail gun, or you can use what we've got now, the electric screwdriver. Both will work just as well. more this side same again on this side Right, let's do this last one. I bet this is only going to give us a couple of percent. 
70% now. All right, so we've got to do the same. We're going across this time. Then we may get some roof tiles on after this, I expect. Is that in? Doesn't look in. So that's what I mean visually. Sometimes it looks like the screws are not in. But some, the screws go all the way and in fact disappear. That one's halfway in. That one looks halfway in. But that one goes all the way in. <laughs> so, you know, visually there's just a couple of things, but um, you know, remember with these screws, they'll flash green as they're doing now if they're not um, if they're not all the way in. Alright, let's go around the chimney. Done. One more this side. Kill. Cool. Right. Same on the other side. Got a le lot of leftover materials at the moment down there. Some of it we're going to be using though. Some of it we've not used at all yet, so I can see the uh, the sort of mineral wool we use for lagging the walls and probably the roof. We've not used any of that yet. Some of those foundation blocks are still down there. We probably won't be using those anymore. But as I mentioned in previous episodes, normally. There is somewhere that you can take all your leftover materials to to actually sort of sell them back and you get some money back but not only that it, it clears your site a little bit as well so whether we'll get that with this one I don't know I hope so Alright, 73% done. So, we need to put on the roof tiles now. We need to trapezoid... Oh my god, I can't even say that. Trapezoidal panels from the store. But we've probably got some of these. Is this what we need? I can't tell if that's what we need. Let's have a look what they actually look like in the store. Uh, there they are. So we're going to need 18 of these. So let's check it out. I think it's probably these, you know. think, for the sake of it, let's just buy some, then we don't have to mess about, we've got plenty of money, here they are already, so let's get them picked up. Thin of these, aren't they? Actually, I don't think we did have those. So we need to get up on the roof. Right, well, 
well these are easy these just uh, these just go down straight away with the um, looks like three three nails or screws per panel this will keep the rain out We've got 15 more of these to do. Yeah, it's a pity you just can't put all the panels down and then go around with the screwdriver and kind of screw everything in at once. You've got to do it panel by panel. Which to me is a bit of a pain. It's doable, but it's, it's just a bit of a pain. Twelve to go. Shouldn't take us too long. Still flashing green that one. Let's make sure that one's in. Last one this side. Right, over the top. So we've soon got to 73%. I imagine this bit is going to give us a fair chunk. So I reckon, based on the time we've spent so far, we're probably going to come in at something like two and a half hours, two hours, 45 minutes, perhaps, to uh, actually finish this build. That's my rough guess. Uh, but let's see how we get on. So it was worth breaking it up into several episodes. It would have been a very, very long one if we'd have done it all in one go. It's doable, but it um, would have been a long session. So, hope you guys are enjoying it so far. I think by the end of today, by the end of part four, we'll probably be in a position to uh, finish off with one last tidy up of the house in part five, and then we're probably done. Let's see how we get on today. We've still got a lot of the work inside to be done yet. One more of these panels to go. Go ahead! Okay, so we didn't even need to nail that last one, which was a bit weird. What's next? Time to insulate the house with mineral wool. Let's start with the walls. Alright. So here's our wool. We've uh, filled up with some of this. Let's start putting this on the sides. So this is fairly quick. No nailing required. This will give us plenty of insulation. Now we've got a skill. This will help us do it faster. Yeah, better work efficiency. So we should be able to run along now with this. We've got 198 pieces of this to put in. So all this blue we've got to get rid of. These are all the areas that need lagging. So we can save quite a bit of time doing this. We're going to have to go inside as well, it's not just the outside. 
the inside walls, the internal walls all need doing as well. Let's just move this out of the way. We'll pick up some more wool whilst we're here. As much as we can carry, which is 105, looks like. And another new skill. More better efficiency, so this will move really fast. A wall mount master. I think that's everything on the outside. Let's go inside. Now we're getting lost in the maze. <laughs> All the walls look the same. Have I run out already? Let me pick up some more. Let's see, uh, last time it let me pick up 105. It only let me carry 90 then. That's exactly the same material. That's very odd. Right, that's everything in there. We just have just one or two little places we've not done yet. There's one. So that's taken us up to 80% complete. So it says after the insulation, the walls can be upholstered with OSB boards. Have we got any OSB boards left? We don't want to leave that there. That'll just get in our way. We can drop it over this side. We do have some boards there. I can see those. We need 149 boards for this. What have we actually got? We got 50 to begin with. And a few more on this side, 52. Start putting these in. So I think, is it gonna let us do it with the nail gun? I think it's gonna ask us to nail these in. Just highlight the right place to put the nail. That's interesting. You see up there. There's a there's a kind of visual glitch, as if there's uh, there's meant to be um, a window on the end of this house. You can see it flashing away up there. Oh, this is more hard work than it should be. Come on. So we're getting there slowly. There's another one. So I'm assuming over these wooden boards we're going to put some other kind of outer panel. Some kind of UPVC or something similar. But we need these in first to keep the insulation in. Now, once again, I can probably use the nail gun, but it doesn't let me use the option. Which is really bizarre. Yeah, I'll save it and come back in and it will let me do it. It's almost as if, you know, playing a longer session 
adjust something graphically and only resetting it with a quit and you know with a save and a quit and a relaunch actually brings it back to normal again so we'll do a few of these we won't do all of them today we'll come back and finish this in part five but we'll do a couple more Get this one in. Okay, cool. Do a couple more. Once again, some of these panels are bigger than the others, aren't they? So I think for part four, we're pretty much done. We'll come back next time, I think, and finish this. Um, we're at 80%. We should get it done in part five. I don't think it'll be a very long uh, episode. I think we're kind of nearly there now. So I hope you've enjoyed this one. Um, it's been a it's been a good journey so far, hasn't it? Um, we've managed to get this far in four parts. Uh, I'll be back uh, very, very shortly with part five. Until then... Give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done so already, if you want to see more, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody.